What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon opening. We're opening up some of the uh, quote-unquote new champions pad. I only just now got these. These I actually picked up from the Pokemon Center after release date and got shipped to me before any of my pre-orders made it. So weird times for many reasons, including kind of like vendor shipping times. Uh, but we got the new Hatterny, um products, you know, pretty vanilla if you ask me. And then the Marnie box. Um, I'm going to give my kind of like review now it's uh i think this is worth getting one and that is because not because of the promos the pins are pretty good but because of this sweet playmat um you know compared to you know if we're just trying to find the charizards yeah the playmat you only you know you don't really need it uh but i think it's worth getting one of these you are paying for the payment like you don't get as many packs i think it's msrps for 50 dollars for only eight packs um but i'm happy to at least open one for myself and let's just go over some of the other stuff in the Hatterny box. We got the Jumbo card. Pretty weak uh, card, in my opinion. Um, Champion's Path. So, like, playmat, good. These pins are actually pretty high quality, if you ask me. And we got the Morpeko one as well. Like the pins, but the promos are pretty weak. Uh, like, Morpeko and Grimstar, like, these are... These are in like existing sets and they're not even cool arts or anything like that. So kind of disappointed about the promos. But uh, here we go. Between the two boxes, we have tw 12 packs of Champions Path. And let's get right into it. Looking for Charizard number two on the channel. And all right, we got the pack that just disintegrate right before your eyes. All right, let's get into back. Uh, you know what? I think we can slow play a little bit. Ooh, I feel like these, they're like extra smooth compared to what I'm used to. Beedrill, Roly Coley, Vulpix, a Swablu, Carvana, Milo for pack one, and then just a Scorch. So in case you didn't know, uh, we do offer a break on this channel. Check out the Patreon page. Ooh, that pack opened significantly easier. It's always links in the description. Um... Hopefully the rest of my pre-orders arrive soon because then we can open this to the patrons. Uh, I'm guessing we'll do something like for the Marnie. If you want the playmat, um, you get the playmat. Otherwise, you can substitute the playmat for maybe like two more packs or something. So you're kind of paying, you know, that kind of like the same price point as all the other products. If uh, if you only need one playmat, you want to order two two breaks, you could still get one playmat or whatever. We'll figure it out. Stay tuned on the Patreon page for details. But uh, yeah, if you are interested in signing up for a break, the Patreon page has all the information, but I will say we offer great prices. Um, ETBs, $40 a pop for breaks. It will cover, a single ETB will cover the Patreon fee. So check it out. And we do live breaks every Friday. We got the Hatterny. Uh, oh wait, this is just the regular one. Another Scorch. Do live breaks every Friday, and uh, yeah, occasionally we'll do a YouTube video as well for a break. Yeah, hope everyone's doing well. Myself been super busy lately. Champion's Path has been pretty tough. While we did find one Charizard so far on the channel, ah, uh, took a while to find it, and we still have another one to go. And so far, all we have to show is a Dreadnought. Dreno is a turtle, but I'm really not a huge fan of him. I think Trudel, Trudel just bothers me. Ooh, I think we have something looking from the side. Doesn't look like it's going to be a, um, a rainbow. And we haven't found a shiny yet, so I can't tell you what the border looks like. All right, Pickens, Inkay, and we'll slow play this. Oh, another turtle <laughs> all right um if we find a rainbow like the rainbow i would like to find the least is probably the dreadnought but the way this opening is going that would not be terribly surprising all right we can do better than this milo great ball uh but yeah i feel like this set was they put in enough for everyone to go crazy and really struggle to find the packs 
but not that much like yeah there's there's two charizards and then that's basically it i do like gardevoir but uh you know so when it comes to the inevitable discussion like all right how does this set compare to hidden fates like to me it's not even a competition hidden fate just such a joy to open still or champions pass sometimes you can just get destroyed uh this opening is going pretty well but even like these hits you know a lot of them they're reminiscent of like Hidden Fates, like pulling a pincer or, <laughs> you know, uh, um, was it Clefable or Wigglytuff or Clefable. All right, I do like the reverse energies. These are much better than, than Hidden Fates for sure. And what is that, Sense Scorcher number four? And the fact that it's a really small set means like, you know, the, the rare slot, the hollow slot is, you know, it's basically irrelevant. Um, but it is small, so anyone that does want to complete the set, I mean, the... You know not the secret rares and such that'd be very accessible which you know it's good or bad it's not necessarily good or bad um i suppose you know things like marinade research are still really good cards all right let's try to get at least one more hit we still have a good amount of packs obstagoon in that one and as always everybody if you do want to support the i want a turtle channel easiest way is just hitting the like button making sure you are subscribed getting close to that 1100 subscribers that'll be nice to hit that milestone and we again we also do have the patreon page if you do want to sign up for breaks discord link down below all right three packs remaining alcrame and two dreadnoughts nothing too exciting Let's see. V Drill, Zigzagoon, a Weedle. Uh, who is I think Sean is <laughs> really excited when he pulled the reverse Weedle. Inke, Rotom, and all right. This V I don't mind. And I'm curious what, where's the full art of this guy? Uh, I do want to check the centering. Actually, this centering does look pretty good. I feel like I would send this off to PSA. Two packs remaining. So four hits out of 12 packs. If we get double width here, it kind of, um, a lot of people have been talking about this ratio of one in three packs, you get a V or something like that. And so we're, we're already there. Two packs, even if we hit two blanks, not the end of the world. But I feel like, oh, the can. Um, you know, this is a set where you can kind of see the gold. It's like, oh, this is not the secret rare we are looking for. Uh, yeah, how often are you so disappointed to see that you're about to pull a gold card? <laughs> yeah, overall, Champions Path, super hyped. Um, yeah, I feel like it'll definitely go down as overhyped, which is not that big of a surprise, trying to be Hidden Fates 2.0, but not even close, in my opinion. All right, last pack. Any last pack magic? I think that's how, it is how we pulled the charge. Ooh, I'm, I'm happy with just this reverse energy. And another Obstagoon. So, um, I would say, uh, you know, only one like texture card, but I'm actually pretty happy with these results. Got a Venusaur in double energy. Uh, definitely could have been a bit better. Yeah, Marnie product, I do feel like it's worth one for the playmat. After that, you might as well go kind of like get, get as many uh, packs for your money. But um, yeah, let me know what you think about this product in the comment down below. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you all next time.